Hey, it's Jeff Hartman, the Neptune Man. And today, I gotta make this little video for you because I saw something I wanted to tell you about. Um, big recall of flushing system. Now, what is a flushing system? Well, I experienced a flushing system. I was out on the road traveling and I was at a hotel and I used a bathroom like most people do and I flushed the toilet. And you don't get the normal, you know, this was a whoosh. I thought, what the heck? And so I was curious. So I thought, well, well, I'll pop the top, look in the tank. And there was actually a black tank inside of the toilet tank. That's interesting, but I didn't see any wires or other pipes or hoses or anything. Just the main water feed going into it. Hmm, that's interesting. And that's what I need at my house because it, you can probably kiss the plunger goodbye. But um, let's go take a look at this thing. The recall, uh, Flushmate is who makes this device, and they received over 1,400 reports, $700,000 in damage. This was October 30th of 2018. And there's a top view of that tank. Okay, let's go um, take a look at how this thing works. Now, when they fill up the toilet, that water level rises, and then it compresses the air. So the air has to come up and then that puts pressure on the water. You see these little arrows. That indicates downward force on that water. So then when you release the pressure by turning the handle, you flush it, that water is just forcefully forced out of there. And it just blows everything out of its way and all the waste goes out. Uh, so here is a Consumer Product Safety Commission website. I just did a search on Flushmate. And it looks like this recall started actually July 14th of 2016. And it says that they expanded it. So they probably wanted to include more serial numbers possibly. But here's a side, you know, side view of that vessel. You can see where this is your water inlet. Water goes around here into the top. And this is, of course, the discharge where the water comes out. And there again is the top view. You can see that water line coming around here. And then also you got the valve in the middle here that, that when you pull the handle, it, pushes down on the valve which causes the flush action and here's your spec label which or serial tag and this would be important if you want to call this 800 number and give them your serial number and they can tell you if your flush mate that you're at or if you're at a hotel or whatever is involved in the uh, recall so if uh, it is you may want to call the front desk and say hey you know I heard that these um, flush mates are you know involved in a recall so you might want to check into that because the hotel uh, they like these because they reduce your maintenance by 90%. So you can, uh, you don't have to worry about sending someone in the middle of the night to plunge or a toilet. But I can see that could be helpful for the hotels as a cost savings over time. So here I just uh, did the search engine, flush made exploding toilet. You can use your favorite search engine. And here I uh, had it on images. And then here's pictures of these tanks. You can see they're ruptured and um, here's a laceration there, whether, you know, allegedly caused from the uh, toilet rupturing. That's a safety hazard. If you're sitting on this thing and it blows up, that's not good. Because you got this uh, porcelain or china just flying across the room like shrapnel. And I got to thinking, you know, I did a video on Top Thrill Dragster in, up in Sandusky, Ohio at the amusement park. It's called you know, Cedar Point. And, uh, they have the same kind of setup, but they're using nitrogen. They, they have high pressure nitrogen, and then they pump up this hydraulic fluid. And then once they release the ride, this fluid just forcefully goes out, and they got 32 motors. Uh, there's 16 on each side of this huge five-foot spool. And uh, it actually pulls this car, which weighs uh, 7, 000, or seven tons, actually. But they, they say they pump it up to about 4,700 PSI. That's a lot of power. So um, it says the tra uh, seven ton train will go zero to 120 in less than four seconds. So that's pretty powerful. So they said it develops about 10,000 horsepower. So um, you know, about this toilet thing, you know, you can have another rat in your toilet too. I'm talking about a real rat. I found this video on National Geographic. And now let me play it real quick. I'll expand it here. You can see the rat's going up in the back of the toilet, gets a pocket of air, breathing. And then he goes on further. Guess where he ends up? In your toilet bowl. 
I didn't think it was possible, but it is possible. Now, have you had a rat in your toilet? I have not, but do you know anybody that's had a rat in their toilet? That's the first I've heard of it. Well, maybe I've heard of it, but I haven't never experienced it, or I haven't known anybody firsthand that's experienced it. So what about you? Have you experienced it? If so, leave comments below. And let me know what you think about the rat in your toilet, whether it's the flush system or the rodent rat. Okay, this is Jeff Hartman, the Neptune Man, and I appreciate you.